friends, a oh, welcome in. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into this video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course, the like. I was not even going to touch on this story, but let's get into the story of Leela Cavett, last seen in Florida, July 26th, 2020. But who I want to get into is Shannon DeMar Ryan, the one that said he was last seen with her. With that, guys, let's get into today's video. All right, so like I said before, I was not going to do this story until I saw this Facebook post live that Shannon DeMar Ryan did. And I saw it on Crime Hive's channel. I am going to attach his channel above. So if you have not seen this video, make sure you check it out on Crime Hive because he really stops it and breaks it down. And in my opinion, this man is guilty. So let's get into this article. Florida witch doctor arrested in case of missing Layla Cavett, whose son, too, was found wandering alone. So Layla Cavett, 21 of Georgia, was last seen July 26, 2020. A self-proclaimed witch doctor has been charged with kidnapping in the disappearance of a woman whose two-year-old child was found last month by Florida police wandering alone in a soil diaper. It was learned Monday. FBI agents arrested Shannon Tamar Ryan, 38, on Saturday. He was being held in a Broward County jail records show. After this article, I am going to go and get nosy and look at his record. I have not even pulled him up yet, so I know nothing, so we are going to be seeing it together. Layla Cavett, 21 of Georgia, was last seen in Hollywood, Florida on July 26, 2020. Hours later, police found her son, Camden, by himself in a diaper and with bare feet in Miramar. Now, I grew up in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. My grandparents lived in Hollywood. Miramar is West Hollywood, West West, out by the Sawgrass Expressway, but it lines up to Miami County. The FBI is still searching for Cavett. The boy is in custody of Florida child welfare workers. Another question, how come the child is not with Layla Cavett's family or her sister? I have seen her sister plea for the safety of Layla Cavett. So that's very interesting to me too. Do I think the sister had anything to do with it? Absolutely not. But while the child is still in Florida, child welfare workers, I find that a little odd. So surveillance camera video captured a vehicle consistent with Ryan's gold Lex Lexus directly in front of the apartment complex where Camden was recovered only minutes before the child was found. FBI agent Samuel Ban says in a court complaint filed in Miami Federal Court Monday, the complaint, the complaint accuses Ryan of lying to investigators about his interactions with Cavett on the date of her disappearance. The complaint quotes him as telling law enforcement that he has known Cavett for more than a year and that she was coming to Florida to sell him her truck for 3000 Hmm. The complaint says Ryan advised law enforcement that on that date he was with Cavett and the boy at a Hollywood gas station and that she and her son left in a dark sedan with several unknown black males. I'm not buying it, Shannon. He said that was the last time he saw her. Now, I do not know who saw the Facebook Live that Shannon did. But like I said, I am going to attach the link. If you have not seen it, you must see it. He talks about alligators. That him and this lady who is now in the hospital were going to go catch alligators. And that he asked Layla if she wanted the job. Why in the world is this man even messing with alligators? And I'm not even sure it's legal to catch alligators in Florida. Because from what I know, 
it's not legal unless it's in hunting season, but I am going to look into that. The video surveillance did not show Ryan's car at the pumps where he described it, nor did it show Cavett leaving in a dark sedan, Band says. Band says Ryan's phone was examined and showed Google searches on July 26th, 2024. What day does commercial garbage pick up for Hollywood, Florida? Why in the world would he want to know that? And does bleach and alcohol make chloroform? Because if you lived in Hollywood, you would know when garbage day was. According to the National Institute of Health, chloroform is commonly used to incapacitate a victim by rendering them unconscious, the complaint says. Ryan calls himself a witch, a spiritual advisor, teacher, and CEO on his Facebook page. If the Facebook page is still up, I am going to attach the link in the description but like I said I was not even going to touch on the story even though I have been following it closely until I saw Shady Shannon running his mouth on Facebook and he looked to me like he was definitely under the influence of a drug in my opinion so on August 9th Shannon posted a video stating he was the last person to have seen Cavett but denied being involved in her disappearance. Why is it you have a missing woman? This is what Ryan Shannon Ryan said. Why is it you have a missing woman and the last person that's seen her, which is me, who talked to the police? You ain't heard nothing about me, Ryan says in the video. He also admitted to serving time in prison when he was younger and had a rap sheet for burglary and drugs. So like I said, we are going to dig into his rap sheet because I have not even looked yet. And we are going to look at it together and see what kind of incidents and arrests he was into as a younger man. The complaint says in the video, Ryan made a statement about covering covering a window on Cavett's vehicle with a garbage bag because the window was broken and damaged. The surveillance video shows that all of the truck's windows were intact. So he's already lying. I'm not sure why he's lying when he knows probably that there are surveillance cameras not only on lights but shopping centers, parking lots, businesses, cars have dash cams. I mean, this guy sounds like a real piece of work and he's spooky. When you see the video, if you have not seen it, this is a very, very strange individual. So let's go over and get into his rap sheet and see what we can find, and we will take it from there. So those that come to my channel know that I am nosy. And I didn't want to make the statement about alligators and hunting season without knowing, so I am going to read this quickly. Hate alligators, love bagging them, then this time of the year is for you. So alligator season did kick off August 15th, which was a couple days ago, and runs through November 1st. According to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, the statewide alligator hunt is perfectly legal, but you'll need a permit to participate. The FWC reports that more than 10,000 applicants will apply for about 5,000 permits. Participants can harvest two alligators. The harvest areas and hunt dates are specific for each permit, reads the FWC website. Hunting hours are 5 p.m. through 10 a.m. All Florida counties except for Miami, Dade, 
and Monroe participate. Permits cost $272 for Florida residents. You must be at least 18. You can apply here or in person at a licensed agent or county tax collector's office. No guns allowed. Among the weapons you can use are bows, crossbows, snatch hooks, gigs, harpoons, spares, and spare guns. So then I thought, well, what if you're not a Florida resident because he comes from Alabama? If you are considering an alligator hunt in Florida and are a non-resident participating in the system for public waters hunts, be advised that the cost of the license, if you are selected, is over 1000 The permit will allow you to harvest two alligators so and when you think about it she went missing when a month before alligator hunting season was going into effect so that's that with the alligator hunting season information let's get into shannon's background report records jail records and see where we go from there so i did a little research and on my little nosy websites and i found his little booking from the alabama state prison Shannon Ryan and that's definitely his mugshot so he's in the state correctional center well he was black male black hair brown eyes six foot 200 pounds born in 1981 he goes by Ryan Estamar Ryan Chabon Ryan Shannon D Ryan Shannon Damar so his total term was a 15 year sentence the time served was 11 years he got zero good time received and his release date was march 4th 2019 So he was, we've got 2004 is when he started probably getting caught. But we've got burglary, possession of marijuana, possession of controlled substance, failure attached stamp on marijuana, possession of marijuana, unlaw breaking and entering a vehicle, unlaw breaking and entering a vehicle, and burglary. So... We know that he said on this Facebook video, for those that have not seen it, that he went back and smoked a little weed. So obviously he's still doing that. And then he talks about going down to the Everglades and then to Key West. But the Everglades that he speaks of to go gator hunting is in Dade County. And like I read earlier, they do not participate. And him being not from Florida, he would need to get his permit to catch his two gators. And then from the time you catch the gators is in the nighttime until break of morning. So what was Layla going to do with her child? I really hope he did not take her out to the Everglades and leave her. All right, guys, I think that is it with this story. And if anything good or interesting comes out, of course, I will do an update video. But with that, guys, I am going to wrap it up. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike, whichever you prefer. And subscribe. Everybody stay safe from COVID and don't forget to stay vigilant. 
Have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. And I am going to post Crime Hive's link in the description. All right, guys, on that note, I am out.